Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mopasu Cat channel with G Star Cat basic modeling tutorial how to create a simple floor plan. First, uh, I will create new drawings and I will use uh, this template GCAT ISO. You can click open. In here, I will create line object start from this point to the bottom here about 4000. And then you can move uh, to drag here 3500. Okay, move uh, to the bottom 1100. Move uh, to the right 3500. Okay, move uh, to the top here about uh, 5100. Okay, 5100. And then you can click at this point. Okay. The next I will create line with uh, length 1300, you can press uh, L command, click at this point, 1300, and then move to the left here, 3600, and click at this point. Okay, you can zoom in. The next I will create line, start from this point, and then you can click uh, at this point, move into here. I will use uh, join command. Sorry, uh, we need. Uh, I will copy this uh, line object. You can click copy. Okay, I will copy to the bottom here about 1,700, and we copy again this line object to the right here, 2,400. Okay, you can use uh, trim command to cut these uh, lines objects. The next, uh, I will use uh, join command. We can combine these objects. Okay, also I will combine these uh, objects. So it will be combined, and then you can use uh, offset command. Okay, we can offset with uh, offset distance 120. Click uh, this object, click in here, and then click uh, this object, click inset. Okay. We also can uh, offset again. Okay, I will offset this uh, line object to this point. In here, uh, we can use a uh, trim command. Okay, we can cut this line objects. And also we cut in here. Okay. Next at this point. And then we can cut in here. Okay. Now uh, to insert furniture, we can use block. Okay. You can get this uh, block objects in uh, description below this video. Okay. You can press uh, E to open block uh, objects and you can click browse. Okay. I will use uh, this block. You can click open. Okay, and then I will attach in here. Okay, we can use the zoom, and you can press A to zoom extend. Now uh, we can use the explode command to explode uh, this uh, block object to spare uh, this all objects. You can type explode, enter, select these objects, and enter again. Now we can use move tools. Here okay, I will move uh, these objects from this point into here. We can move again these objects into this point. Okay, you can move uh, one by one these uh, all objects into our floor plan. Okay, for bed, we'll put in here. The next, uh, we can, sorry, uh, in here we can create walls. Okay, you can press uh, L command. Okay, I will click uh, from this point into here. Then we can offset with uh, offset distance 120. Click this object, click in here. Okay, I will use uh, line command. You can create line, start from this point into here, and then we can move the last object, this line object, to the bottom here 560. Okay, you also can use a trim command to cut uh, this uh, all lines. The next, I will create a rectangle object in here with a dimension about 120 for length and for width we can set into 1500. Okay, we can use move tools. We will move for this object, start from this point, and then I will use uh, mid between two points, click in here, and then click at this point. So it will be placed in the middle between two points. We can use a trim command, we can cut this line objects. Okay, now uh, we also can insert again. In here, I will uh, move uh, 
uh, this object okay i will use uh, midpoint between two point we click at this point and then in here okay and then we can move so i will uh, uncheck for uh, this option auto and then we can active this uh, for track i will move in here we use uh, mid between uh, two point click in here and then click at this point so if we press in the middle so you can press trim button trim command to cut uh, this line objects okay now we can quad a rectangle i will quad up from this point into here okay i will quad again in here to change color you can select and then you can use uh, this option color you can select a color like i will choose uh, this color you can click ok now it will be applied into these objects okay the next uh, we can uh, move again okay i will move uh, this object start from this point and we can move into here we can move uh, these objects to the left here about 350 and then i will use the trim command to cut this uh, line objects okay we move again these uh, objects sorry uh, i will rotate first into here and then we can use move tools to move this object start from this point we can move into this point we can use a trim command to cut this line object okay the next i will move uh, this object from this point into here we can move again this uh, object from this point middle point and then i will use uh, mid pitch into point click in here and then we can click at this point okay the next uh, we can use uh, rotate command i will rotate this objects with a uh, copy option okay you can press save to copy in here now we can use move tools to move this object from middle point with a uh, mid between two point okay click in here and then you can click at this point the next uh, this object can move from this point middle point and then use mid between two point click in here and then you can click at this point okay the next for uh, kitchen we can move uh, these two objects okay i will move into here and now we can move from this point into here next from this point into here or you can move again into here okay for a bedroom we can move these objects into here okay now we move again from this point into here these objects from this point into here and shower from middle point into here okay now uh, for walls uh, we can apply head so uh, you can type head enter will be open head uh, gradients dialog box in here we can use uh, nc31 for uh, color we can set into green okay you can use a uh, green color sorry uh, orange orange colors okay now we can use uh, add uh, pick points i will click in here Okay, we click again at this point the next in here and this point we can click uh, one by one okay after we click uh, this uh, all walls you can press enter again and then you can click preview to preview the object okay we enter again in here i will set for scale into 20 we can preview so uh, this for uh, 20 scale in uh, this edge we can click ok to apply Okay, the next uh, we can apply dimension into these uh, objects. You can tap D to open a dimension style manager. In here, I will use annotative and you can click a modify. Hmm. For text, uh, I will change text color into yellow. Okay, and then for lines, in here, we can set into blue. Also, for extension lines, into blue. So it'll be like this. You can uh, click OK and then you can set current this uh, dimension you can click close 
you can tap dim line to open uh, dimension line manager dim linear okay and third i will click uh, start from this point and then uh, sorry uh, we can click uh, from this point into here and move into here so it will be look uh, too small to make it uh, fit in uh, this uh, drawings we can uh, uncheck this option okay annotation we uncheck and then we can check this option automatical scale add Okay, in here we can set for at scale in here. I will set into 150. So it will be scale into 150. And then you can turn off again in here and active again this uh, annotation visibility. Okay, I will move these objects into here. Okay, we can use uh, dim linear again to create a dim linear start from this point into here and then click in here. Okay, we can click again from this point into here. Okay, in the right here from this point into this point. And then from this point into here. In the top, we can click from here into here. And the next from this point into here. Okay. In the left from this point into this point, okay, and from this point into here, the last from this point into this point, okay. Now we already create uh, this uh, simple 2D floor plan with uh, G Star Cat uh, software. If you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video.